Welcome back to my food series on retro food. I'm Johnny Marsh, I'm the head chef at Food by Johnny Marsh. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a banana split. Everybody loves a banana split. So the first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a delicious strawberry syrup. And I simply put sugar in a pan. And it's always the same quantity of sugar to water in the stock syrup. So pour that in. And that goes onto, onto the stove. As you can see, I've just quartered some strawberries and I've got two leaves of mint. Obviously, if you can't do this, it's fine. Roll it up and just slowly shred it. The mint adds a real kind of different aspect and different element to the dish. And, and it's a type of element that people don't normally expect in a banana split, but that's why it, we're bringing it up, we're bringing it up to, you know, now, rather than keeping it back there. So, I've got this on. Got the stock syrup bubbling. Just need to leave it until it's all dissolved, all the sugar's gone, and it comes up to the boil. You can find a full list of the ingredients in the description box and all the quantities of the recipe. So now it's come up to the boil. It's gonna be really, really, really hot. Even if you think you've got asbestos hands, please do not even attempt to touch it, because hot sugar, it's hot, like really, really hot. So just just mixing this in. And the best thing about this dish now, strawberries, they're finished. Just leave them to one side and let all the strawberry flavour just get into that stock syrup, really. I've got my cream. What I did before, is just whip some cream, added some sugar and I added a vanilla pod. So that's my, my sweetness in the dish. So I've got my ice cream, I've got my cream, I've got my baby marshmallows, pavlova, strawberries, banana split needs banana. I'm not gonna take it right back to the 1970s where I'm just gonna go bang on a plate. I'm gonna take, trying to, bit of, bit of an elegance, bit of an elegant side to it. So just at an angle, just to be a bit fancy. This is a wicked recipe for kids put them in the dining room, give them all of it, give them the cream, the marshmallows, the pavlovas, the bananas, the strawberries, obviously do the syrup yourself because we don't want people leaving with third degree burns, but it's just wicked for the more they can do it and it just keeps you aside, you can have drinks with your friends and they're happy for hours. So this, this is ready to assemble now. So now we're ready to plate up, just grab your plate, ice cream, obviously don't be alarmed by the bowl, the bowl is massive but this serves too. A little bit of sprigs of mint. And um, a little tip now, now the strawberries have been infusing, add a touch of lemon juice, just lifts it. Give that a stir. Let's go into plating up. Bowl into the middle, crush the pavlova. Obviously, depending on how many you've got, let the kids get a rolling pin and let them just go to town on it. But that was added a little fun factor. So, I like to go Pavlova first, scatter that around. Then you go the strawberries. Trust me, the mint, you will not be crossing me adding the mint. It is just delicious. Touch round. That syrup, as you can see, it's just starting to take that tint of red. Drizzle that over. Marshmallows. Scatter. So if you like these recipes, make sure you hit subscribe and so you can see them all. Next goes on the on the bananas. Anywhere. Just get stuck in. Use the rest of them. Sprinkle more of that over. I like marshmallows. Add the rest of the strawberries. I get, there's no strict rules about how to do it, where to put them, how to do things. Just get stuck in. Syrup all over. So now, ice cream and cream. It's got to have cream on a banana split and you've got to have ice cream. So what I've done is I've got a bowl here, hot water. Always have hot water because it will just make your life easier. A couple of these. And then a couple of scoops of cream. A 
just to be a bit fancy, put a couple of sprigs of mint. And that is my banana split taken right back from the 70s. I hope you enjoy this dish and I hope to see you next time.